I'd like to review the muscles of the back and chest to give you perspective. We're looking at the posterior aspect of the cat. Here's the cat's head. I'm going to go back down here. And you're seeing the latissimus dorsi. It has its origin through the thoracolumbar fascia. And you can see that white appearance of the fascia here. It also has its origin on the lower six thoracic vertebrae and the lumbar vertebrae, as well as the iliac crest. The insertion for the latissimus dorsi is up at the humerus. It inserts on the intertubercular groove or sulcus. And the action of the latissimus dorsi is to extend, adduct, and medially rotate the arm. Moving towards the head, coming up here, Right here, this most superficial muscle that you're seeing right here is the trapezius. We can tag or view the trapezius right here on the most superficial muscle covering the scapulae, but it also can be seen down here. Its origin is on the occipital bone, the spines of C7, and the thoracic vertebrae. It inserts on the spine and acromion of the scapula and the lateral clavicle. Its action is to extend, elevate, rotate, and retract the scapula, and its secondary action is for extension of the head. Moving to muscles that are more deep to the trapezius muscle, these feather-like muscles shown here, these are the rhomboideus muscles. There's a major and minor. They have their origin on the spinous processes of C7 and T through T5, and they insert on the medial border of the scapula, and their action is to stabilize the scapula. Moving towards the anterior aspect of the cat, we can see these superficial muscles. The first one that I'm going to show you is going to be the pectoralis minor. This is a cat-specific muscle called the ziphi humeralis. The next muscle that you see right here is the pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor has its origin on ribs 3, 4, and 5 and inserts on the coracoid process of the scapula and its action is to draw the scapula anteriorly and inferiorly. The muscle on the lateral side of the cat that I want to point out is this scalloped muscle. It has a scalloped appearance because it's coming off of the ribs. This is of course the serratus anterior and the serratus anterior origin, has its origin on ribs 1 through 8. It inserts on the anterior aspect of the medial or vertebral border of the scapula and its action is to protract and rotate the scapula superiorly and laterally. It is also known as the boxer's muscle. Coming back to the anterior aspect of the cat, I now would like to show you this muscle, which is more superior to the pectoralis minor. This muscle is the pectoralis major. The pectoralis major has its origin on the clavicle, the sternum, and the costal cartilages and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. Its job is to flex, adduct, and medially rotate the arms. Moving back to the posterior aspect of the cat, I'd now like to show you some more deep muscles to the trapezius. I'm going to reflect back the trapezius and I'd like to show you these deep muscles the first one, this one, is the supraspinatus. Your landmark is to feel for the scapular spine. So this part is the supraspinatus. Its origin is in the supraspinous fossa of the scapula and inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus. And its action is to abduct and stabilize the humerus. Going below the scapular spine. Let's see, I'll just show you on this side. 
the muscle that is found in the infraspinous fossa, this muscle, this one right here, this is called the infraspinatus. The infraspinatus has its origin in the infraspinous fossa. It inserts on the greater tubercle of the humerus and its action is lateral rotation of the humerus. Cleaning up right here, this muscle right here, this is the teres major. It's right next to the infraspinatus. The teres major has its origin on the posterior surface of the inferior ring angle of the scapula. It inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus and it is a synergist to the latissimus dorsi and it extends, adducts, and medially rotates the arm. One more muscle I'd like to show you is the subscapularis which can be easily seen if I move the cat back to a supine position. This muscle right here is the subscapularis its origin is in the subscapular fossa of the scapula. It inserts on the lesser tubercle of the humerus, and it, its actions are medial rotation of the humerus and stabilizes the shoulder joint.